The Livestream.net presents On the Way to a Smile Case of Livestream The man could sense the Livestream trying to erode his spirit. The memories of his former experiences, thoughts, and emotions. If he allowed himself to be taken by the current, the being he once was would soon disseminate and disappear amongst the spirit energy cycling around the planet. The man thought this unacceptable. The planet was his to rule, and to become part of that system would be nothing short of defeat. The man sensed a large flux in the live stream, a sign of another, different defeat. When the live stream erupted onto the surface of the planet, the man thought that Cloud was no doubt certain of his victory. Cloud was the one who had twice sent the man into the live stream. The man knew that if one could hold on to some core of their spirit, then one could remain a separate entity, independent of the planet's system. Cloud. The man decided to make Cloud that core, and he wanted to let Cloud know that. I'm still thinking of you, and I'll show you the proof of that as well. The woman was an ancient, which explained how she was able to maintain her individuality even within the life stream. If she so wished, she could become part of the planet at any time. But the woman thought it too early for that just yet. The woman had sensed a different presence within the life stream cycling around the planet. It was the vehemence of a strong will, one that would never join the planet. She knew this consciousness. It was the man who had taken her life, a merciless spirit hidden behind a beauteous wall. The spirit was now operating within the life stream. The woman sensed that he was planning to exert his influence to the surface of the planet. She wondered what she could do. Because it would be dangerous for her to come in contact with him, the woman tried to keep away from the man's consciousness. Because of this, she couldn't learn much about the man's plot However, just once, when the man's spirit had suddenly appeared near her, she discovered that he had made his memories of Cloud the core of his being. Cloud was her friend, her beloved, a symbol of what was important to her, and someone to be protected. When the life stream erupted onto the surface of the planet, the man had already surrendered his inconsequential memories to the planet. Memories from when he was a boy, of his few friends, of the battles when he was still unaware, of his life in bygone days. All these became part of the inundation encased around Meteor and finally receded. At the same time, the core of his spirit, and those memories deeply related to it, moved from torrent to torrent, and travelled around the land, from city to city. When the people who were trying to escape, or those left unable to do anything but stand still, were enveloped by those streams, and decided to leave them with his stigma. If Cloud noticed that stigma, the man was certain that he would never disappear. As long as Cloud remembers me, I can continue to exist. Within the life stream and on the surface. Even if my spirit disseminates. Even if just one fragment of a memory courses around the planet. In the end, I can count on Cloud's consciousness to bring me back. The woman discovered that there were a growing number of spirits within the livestream who refused to be absorbed by it. 
While they were different from the man's spirit, they rejected the life stream due to the same emotion, hatred. Their feelings towards the planet were steeped in hatred, just like the man's. This is the result of his influence reaching the surface. The woman drew closer to the souls that had just entered the life stream, spirits filled with hate, and tried to heal them. Beneath the surface of enmity were hidden memories, memories from their lives as normal people. While unremarkable, they had many joyous memories as well. She released those thoughts and dissolved them into the life stream. Having lost the core of their emotions, the surface animosity dissolved. The woman had found a solution. However, more and more spirits steeped in spite appeared, and it was too much for her to bear. She rushed through the life stream in search of other souls to help her. Ancients on the verge of diffusing, these fragments of consciousness accepted her undertaking. When she found fragments of consciousness of people she had once known, pitiful in number, she infused them with her own memories and sought their assistance. She had more spirits on her side now, but even so, the hatred borne by the man did not decrease. She then thought of Cloud, living in his reality up on the surface. In order to reduce the hatred lingering in the life stream, she would have to remove the hatred flooding the real world. The woman wondered if Cloud could help her. However, that might lead to Cloud getting hurt as well. The Cloud she knew had a very fragile heart. 